The first poster of the day is poster 50, titled Knowledge on Epilepsy and its Associated Factors Among Parents of Children Attending Epilepsy Clinics at the Premier Pediatric Hospital in Sri Lanka. The authors are Ranasinghe D, Ratnayaka D, Padaniya A, Aluthke P A, Kolumbage S P, Epitakadua C, Sagra D C C R, Dharatna M, Balasurya D, and Buddhika Mahesh P K. The presenting author is Ranasinghe D. Thanks for introducing me, Madam, and uh, good morning, Sir, as well as to Madams and my uh, dear colleagues. Today, my present, uh, poster presentation is about knowledge of epilepsy and associated factors among parents of children attending epilepsy cli uh, clinic at LRH. As we all know, parents are doing major role in management of children in any other illnesses, any of those illnesses. Epilepsy may be a long-term illness. Actually, sometimes it be three years or five years. Sometimes it may be more than that. Therefore, uh, Parents' uh, knowledge about epilepsy is very important for the compliance of management strategies. Uh, our study is a descriptive cross-sectional study and which was done for nine months duration, uh, which, uh, which we had done in, at the LRH Child Neurology Clinic and our sample size was uh, 630. Our inclusion criteria are the parents with children who, ha who, are, who were having epilepsy for three, uh, more than three months duration and our exclusion criteria is uh, uh, if the mother is, uh, if the parents are not with the children for more than three days per three weeks, we have excluded those uh, parents from the study. And it is an interview based administrated questionnaire, and we have uh, added 10 uh, equally weighted graded questionnaires for this study. And our parametrics was used for normal distribution and the median and interquartile ranges for non uh, normal distributions. When we comes to the results, uh, out of 650, uh, we have taken from 630, that means response rate is around 96.9%. Uh, .9%. And the median age of the parents is, uh, is 37 with IQ, uh, that means in the quarter and range of 31 to 40. Um, uh, male, female, uh, 91 females were participated and 9% of, uh, of them are males. And, uh, uh, According to when we talk about the earnings, that means the salary, around 52% of the uh, parents earning around salary around 20,000 20, to 40,000 and 21,000, 21% uh, of their income was around 40,000 to 60,000. When we compare the level of the education of those parents, 51% of them up studied up to O levels and 31% of them studied up to A levels. Then we calculated the median knowledge score uh, according to the uh, questionnaire. The normal median, uh, the total uh, average median uh, knowledge score was 60. Uh, when we come to the results of the, the knowledge of the females are higher than the males, that means a p value of 0.004, and the knowledge of parents who pass, o, uh, pass beyond the O levels is stat statistically significant knowledge in the parents who pass the O levels. Uh, in the study. When we compare the knowledge of epilepsy, that means uh, when, uh, uh, when we compare knowledge of epilepsy with the age, there is no statistically significant as well as there is no statistically significant knowledge, uh, there is uh, uh, no statistical significance between knowledge uh, with the age as well as the knowledge of uh, with the uh, monthly income level. Then when we compare the knowledge of management of a child during an acute attack, they, even though if they have studied, uh, they have uh, done up to A levels. So, if if they had done uh, didn't study to O level, there's no significant difference. Therefore, according to our uh, study, there's a knowledge uh, when we the gender as well as the education level have a statistical significant uh, difference about those studies. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the abstract is now open for questions. Thank you. It's a very good uh, topic uh, as far as the health education is con uh, concerned. Can you tell a little bit more about 
how this instrument was developed, how do you identify the, the content areas for the questions. You yeah. mentioned that it, it was equally weighted. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because from the uh, few of those uh, consultant community physicians, we got together and developed that question here. Yeah? We have 10 uh, equal weighted questions. Shall I read those, some of those things? Uh, uh, there may not be much time, but it, just yes. how you arrived at those content, how you identified those content, was it through a consensus approach or? Yeah, uh, consensus approach from five con consultant community physicians and came to the 10, uh, uh, got those 10 uh, questions through them, validated through them. And the, the scoring was, again, like a yeah, scale, I guess. like that, because we have uh, spoke with the consultant and uh, gave the scoring system, and the average was taken as 10, sir. 10, okay. How, how was the, the cutoff of 60 was arrived? Was there a... From, sir, for each questionnaire, we give, sir, 10. Okay. Then we ask if yes or no, and like that, sir, we have given 10 marks, 4, 6, like that, sir. Just one question. Yes. Uh, the children, you asked both parents or you selected one parent? Uh, madam, we selected the parent who is coming, coming for, the the, for the clinic with the uh, child. Who usually comes to the clinic. Yeah, so you usually comes to the clinics, madam. Thanks. Thank you. Please give a round of applause.